Um, this is the transcript, Martha, of the ABC interview that he did with George Stephanopoulos, which insta- it was six weeks ago today where this interview happened. I think what's been very frustrating over the past two days, just watching this hearing, is trying to, trying to discern what, what all these words mean. And I, I, w- whether the White House has done this intentionally or not, I will not wager But the person missing from this entire discussion is the commander in chief. So we went back and crunched some numbers. Um, Stephanopoulos apparently got 34 questions in on that uh, that interview. We but that was during that was when the C-19 was C-17 was rolling down the runway. Okay, this is a full week before our 13 service members were blown up. That happened on August 30th. Uh, Check that August 26th. We get out of Kabul on the 30th of August. Since that time, the president, this is one month now, he's taken a total of 34 questions in one month, which equals the same amount of questions he took with Stephanopoulos in one interview. He has done zero sit-down interviews in the past six weeks. And you think about everything that's on the line for Congress, et cetera, the debt ceiling, what we're going to do about that, all the questions now that are happening uh, in this hearing. But it's a hard thing for the American people to try and figure out what the truth is when you're trying to read a transcript. It's a great point. Thank you for pulling together all those numbers. I mean, my mind just goes back to the campaign when he spent most of it uh, in the basement during COVID. And that was just the way that they approached it. They wanted to keep him very safe. But he continues to stay in that posture of uh, very safe and not facing questions. And so as a result, we don't really know where he stands on this three and a half trillion dollar deal. We don't really we haven't heard anything from him about the uh, drone strike. That was a huge mistake. We heard from General McKenzie on that, but nothing so far from the president on that because he doesn't have the kind of repartee and conversations uh, clearly that we saw from President Trump. Every time he went and got on Marine mm-hmm. One, he'd stop and ask, you know, answer, you know, 20 questions in that environment. Um, so that's.